know the difference between a regular lightning bolt and a super bolt? Inside Science. We've been measuring them for nine years and we didn't know it. While studying space plasma physics, Holsworth and his team needed to keep track of lightning strikes around the world and built the Worldwide Lightning Location Network. This network has about 100 lightning detection stations located everywhere from Antarctica to Finland. We built the first global real-time lightning detection system and we've been using it for all kinds of great science ever since. While the researchers were looking at the lightning data, they discovered these intense lightning strikes called super bolts, which are not your ordinary lightning flashes. One of the first things that came, popped right out at us was that the distribution of those strokes around the world compared to most other lightning was very different and it didn't occur in the usual places. 90% of lightning is formed over land, but super bolts are found primarily over water and very few are on land. We don't know why they occur more likely over water. Not only were the locations of these super bolts unique, but also the time of year they were happening. One of the other things that characterizes super bolts is that they tend to occur in the northern hemisphere winter. And that's also very different than all the rest of the lightning strokes. The super bolts tend to occur November, December, January, February, and not so much in June, July, August. Also, super bolts pack a powerful punch, releasing 1,000 times more energy than a typical lightning bolt. Like any severe weather event, trying to predict the next one is always a challenge, especially because super bolts seem to come out of nowhere. Holsworth and his team continue to learn more about superbolts in the hopes of being able to predict them in the future. We look for this interaction between the thunderstorm and its lightning with the environment. It would be useful for safety to better understand, maybe better be able to predict and so forth when you might have a superbolt. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.